Praise God, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Redem Tamoke. I am a born again Christian. I believe Jesus Christ, he died, he resurrected. He is coming back soon and Jesus is God. So basically today, if you see me covering my hair, I'm just having a difficulty combing my hair. For those who know the African hair type, so don't think anything outside that. So today, I just want to talk about these so-called musicians singing using the name of Jesus in vain. I cannot be talking here about false prophet and this musician. I think I should do more videos of exposing these people because the church are blind that they cannot see. I think actually I should do more videos. I'm going to pick one by one musicians, preachers, and I'm going to expose them and I'm going to tell you if these people are true indeed, which is the singers of God or they're just anointed by their own words you know the bible says start not they are my anointed word but did god say he ever anointed them did god tell you he anointed them some of them they have been anointed by devil do you know that god satan is god to someone no you don't know now you know so basically today i'm just going to talk about this but before i start let's read in the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 to 14 this is what the bible says for we were once darkness, but now we are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Uh, uh, walk as children as li of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable in the Lord. We have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things are exposed and made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest in the light, therefore he says, Awake, awake, you who sleep, arise from the death, and Christ will give you light. This is not my word. This is a Bible saying. So the Bible actually tells us that uh, we are the children of light. And there is no, there is no, like we were once darkness, but now we are light. Let's say, for example, I was once, yeah, not even example. Me once before I was a sinner. Before I was doing these things of the world and I was finding it so fun. But that is past. Now I am a children of light. I need to walk in righteousness and in truth. And this uh, unfruitful things... You know, you will know them by their fruit. So, for example, if I go, I take Jay-Z, I take Beyonce, and then bring them to church and support me in my music. What fellowship has light with darkness? Beloved, Tasha Cobb just sang with Nicki Minaj and the church is quiet about this. I've seen only few people talking about this. In Kenya, we have dozens of secular artists who are saying in the name of Jesus. And there are so many, I know them. And I'm going to expose them in due time. I'm not going to keep quiet about this. I said before, I will not keep quiet to please man. The boldness that I prayed, God give me this boldness, is a boldness I'm going to use to expose these false singers. But now basically, I'm just emphasizing with these singers who are singing with secular artists in the name of Jesus. Book of Acts chapter 16 verse 16. This is what the story of Paul and Silas was. It happened as they went to pray. A certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met, met them who brought her master's much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, These men are servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And she did this so many days, but Paul greatly anointed her and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But the master saw that their prophets were gone and seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authority. So basically, God has never used a darkness to promote light. So we see this girl, she was possessed. She, had a, she, was, uh, she was a slave girl and she was bringing the masters uh, a lot of profit because she was a fortune teller. And you know, those are the people of darkness. This girl was not bewitching Paul. No, she was saying something good actually that most pastors find it so good. She was not like throwing charms or saying, I rebuke you or I curse you. She was saying, these are true servants of God. So, why did Paul have to rebuke the spirit to come out of her if she wasn't saying anything bad? Because God does not use darkness to promote light. So, how can you bring a secular musician to promote your song and say you want to, 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 to bring more believers to Christ? How? 
how does it ever happen? You know, I don't understand unless you make me understand. How? Where in the Bible did God use the, the Baals, the god of um, Baal, the gods of idol, the people who worship idol, to come and uh, promote his uh, works when in the Bible? So you people are just supporting this crap. Mm -mm. I'm not going to support it. I'm not going to support it. This is absolutely wrong. And the church has to wake up. This song should stop being singing in church. It has to stop. So Tasha Cobbs and Nicki Minaj. I am going to one by one. This time redemption is not keeping quiet. No, I am not. I refuse. There are so many using the name of God in vain. And if you are there and you cannot see. May God open your eyes. I command the Spirit of God to open your eyes. Holy Spirit, intervene. Let these people see the things I see. Do you want me to fast 10 days for, so, for God to give me a dream or a vision about this while I know the truth? Sometimes we even bother ourselves. You go to the wilderness just to God to tell you if it's good to sing with secular artists. I'm done. This has to stop. Bye.